Tonight, San Diego is among the latest cities to implement new innovative technology to help reduce crime. This autonomous security robot is one of three that have been deployed in San Diego. CBS 8's Rocio de la Fe takes a closer look at how the tech is helping residents and properties. The robot is helping tackle crime by using a combination of self-driving technology, robotics, and AI to provide an extra set of eyes and ears on the ground. In case you're wondering, I'm a security robot. Nice to see you here. It's just here to enhance the security so that it constantly shows a presence. This autonomous security robot recently started patrolling the Stratton Apartments in Claremont. It's constantly monitoring the area for any anomalies that it may have. It's one of just three recently deployed in San Diego. The robot basically is here to give the tenants and the property a sense of security in the most innovating ways. Danny Garcia is the director of operations at JDS Security Services and says the technology is a physical deterrent for crime. Another thing that they're having issues right now is a lot of uh, catalytic converters uh, are being stolen. So the, the robot does have the infrared at night, so it'll monitor for any heat signatures walking around any vehicles or someone trying to do that at night. The automated security officer is capable of working 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and recharges its batteries on site. On the company's website, it says the costs range anywhere from 75 cents to $9 an hour, which is significantly less than what a human security guard would cost. The robot has 360 degree high definition cameras. It records audio and video and can read up to 300 license plates per minute. This ASO that we call it is much like a human being. It uh, runs on five sensors just like you and I. The robot itself has um, LiDAR, laser, um, um, ultrasonic uh, laser as well to get it through its to do its job. When crimes committed it goes directly to our dispatch center. The robot can store information for up to 30 days and while some people we spoke to are happy to have the new technology others are still warming up to the idea. I cannot communicate with a machine. I cannot talk to a machine. A machine cannot talk back to me. There's a growing demand for the robots. They've already been rolled out in cities across California, New York City, Washington DC and Las Vegas. Rocio de la Femme, CBS 8.